everyone, Craig with Single Length School. And as you know, at Single Length School, we talk about golfing smarter, not harder. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about these bad boys, the Pinhawk Single Length Irons. A lot of you have asked, and I've had the opportunity to test. So today, we're reviewing the Pinhawk Single Length Irons. So first of all, Pinhawk is actually owned by Value Golf, which I was fortunate enough to find out when they showed up at my door. They're actually located about an hour and a half from me up in Erie, Pennsylvania. But I worked with Aaron up at Value Golf and he was more than happy to send me down a set of the Pinhawk single length irons to allow me to get out there and test them because a lot of you guys have asked me my thoughts on them. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to get my hands on them until now. So before I talk about my findings with the clubs and my thoughts, I wanna make sure I say thank you to Aaron, thank you to the guys at Value Golf and Pinhawk. They were great to work with. Aaron asked me my specs, what shaft, what grips I wanted, had them built up, had them sent out. And considering the ever-growing world of single length irons, I'm impressed at how quickly they got here because with Bryson rising and single length or one length irons getting more popular they're harder to get your hands on so Aaron told me they were backed up but I was surprised at how quickly he got everything to me so thank you guys for that up at Value Golf. So let's talk about the irons themselves. So first things first is every iron and I got the set was sent to me for through lob wedge and the first thing I noticed was everything's cavity back. Now, again, I normally am playing my Cobra Forge Tech one lengths, which are more of a blade style. There's a little bit of cavity in there, but these are actually going back to and remind me of the F7s, um, which, you know, I switched to the F7s from a brand called Single Swing, which is no longer around. So, you know, when I looked at these at first, and trust me, Pinhawk's actually been around longer than Cobra's been doing this. But it reminded me a lot of the F7s. And I liked the F7s. So let's talk about the clubs themselves, what I found. And I'm going to show you some shots here as we go. Um, I told Aaron I would do him a favor. I actually gave these a good, thorough try. I didn't just open them run out to the range and am filming this video. I actually got these clubs about a week and a half ago. So every day with the exception of one day, I was out hitting these clubs to get the feel and understand them and get used to them. So first things first, let's talk about the clubs themselves and I'm not even gonna compare them to my Cobras at all. So these are seven iron length same setup, same ball position, the same thing I preach over and over again in my tips and training videos. The first thing I noticed with these clubs was how forgiving they were. And I was purposely trying to hit further on the toe, hit further on the heel, try and see if it affected the ball. And of course it is gonna affect the ball and the ball flight and distance and everything, but they were a lot more forgiving than I expected. The second thing I noticed is there was no distance loss. I had no distance loss from what I'm used to hitting to being in these clubs at all. So that's a positive. And if you do it right, if you're coming from variable length and looking to get into single length irons and are worried about a distance issue, these pinhawks aren't gonna give you a distance issue, at least not in my opinion and not from my findings. So that's a positive, especially for those who are looking to try and transition into the single length or one length iron world. The other thing I notice is they actually look really nice. You know, Value Golf, I don't know how many people have this opinion, but Value Golf is kind of, I, I don't wanna call it a knockoff company because they are not. They are their own brand and they stand out. But when you hear Value Golf, you automatically think a discount golf company. For a name like Value Golf, these look high-end. These look expensive. 
you put them in your hands, they feel expensive. Now, the grips, they put Lambkin grips on it, and they have their own quantum shaft specifically designed for the one length irons. So you get that. But the cool thing with Value Golf is when you order your pinhawks, you have a ton of options to customize the clubs. You can customize your lie, you can customize your loft, obviously the distance, the grip, the shaft, you can do a ton of customization. And that is an awesome feature, especially if you've been fitted and know your specs, you can order from Pinhawk and meet those specs that you were fitted for. So aside from that, the one thing that really caught my eye and that I love about these Pinhawks is it makes me feel old school or reminds me of the old school is the way they have the numbers on the irons. And I'll show you a better picture of it, but they actually have the bottom number on the sole of the club. It's kind of in that old textile. And then they also put it on the face of the club. And I think that is awesome. That is awesome. That reminds me of some of the older clubs when I was a teenager playing. Um, so great job with that design, guys, at Value Golf. That's awesome. So let's talk about performance. And I'll show you some shots as we go here. Performance-wise, one of the things a lot of people are always worried about, especially with the longer clubs, your four, five, six irons, when you switch to single length, is your distance. As I said, I didn't notice a distance loss. What I did notice was a trajectory difference. So the four and five iron, especially in this set, at least for me, and I'm not saying this is across the board, for me, it was a lower flight than, what I'm norm than what's normal for me or what I'm used to. That's not a bad thing because that means you're hitting the ground a little bit sooner, but I had a lot more run out as opposed to the clubs I'm currently playing. So total distance was the same. It's just with this set, I had more run and not as much carry. The middle irons, the six, seven, eight, nine irons, no difference compared to what I'm used to. Same distances, same type of spin, same ball flight. But when I got into the wedges, I also noticed something a little bit different than what I'm used to. And that is the fact that all the wedges were actually flying higher than what I'm used to. So I'm used to a little bit lower ball flight and a little bit more stopping power. These actually flew really high and had a ton of stopping power. Again, no loss in difference or no difference in loss, I should say, but a trajectory difference. So those were the things that I noticed compared to what I'm normally used to with these clubs. I can't really find any other cons aside trajectory differences compared to what I'm used to. And guys, that could be attributed to a couple different things. A, they're cavity backs. I'm playing a forged iron, so that's a little bit different. That could be the cause of it. It could be another thing is these are traditional lofted clubs. My Cobras are a little bit stronger, so I'm not gonna get that same higher trajectory with my wedges that I currently play because they're a little bit stronger. But all in all, there's so many positives to these Pinhawks compared to any cons I had. And like I said, the cons really just come down to not being used to the height difference compared to what I'm used to. So guys, here, here's my final thoughts on these. They are great clubs, especially for someone looking to get into single length irons. They are going to get you the distance as long as you trust the process. Ball position in the same spot, same swing, set everything up as your seven iron and let the clubs do the work. If you do that when you switch to these clubs, then you will absolutely see no distance loss. In fact, you might even see some distance gain because you're gonna be able to find the center of the club face even more. The other positive is these things come in under some of the other brands price-wise that you may be looking at. Most of you guys, when you think one length or single length, you think Cobra right off the top of your head. These are gonna come in brand new under the price of a Cobra set. Each one of the Pinhawk irons comes in from the Value Golf website at $55 an iron. 
The other awesome thing with Pinhawk is they also offer one length hybrids and they take it a step further and also offer one length fairway woods. Now those prices go up just a couple dollars for each of those clubs. But the cool thing with the Value Golf site is you can customize your entire bag across the board and stay in the single length realm. So all in all guys, from me to you guys, I've got to say, I'm very impressed. I will tell you these Pinhawks blew me away. They did more than what I imagined they would do for me. So if you're out there looking for a set, maybe your first set or looking to get somebody you golf with or a family member into single length irons, but don't want to spend an arm and a leg, give Aaron and the guys at Value Golf a call, get on their website, check them out, get yourself a set of Pinhawks if you're looking for something kind of in that lower end of single length iron um, cost wise. Also, because those guys are awesome, do me a favor, go give them some love. Um, they did not pay me to do this. I told them I would give them a fair and honest review and I swear to you, that's exactly what I've done. Um, I've given you some of the things I didn't like about them with the trajectory, which is not what I'm used to, but all in all, the clubs are great. So go show those guys some love. Find and follow Value Golf over on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, those guys are awesome. Reach out with an email if you need to, but again, guys, Pinhawks, they get a plus from me. I'll give them four birdies out of five. How's that sound? So check them out, and I'm gonna give you a little hint. Aaron did not just send me the Pinhawks single lengths. I actually have something else for you guys because they were so accommodating. I love these guys. So stay tuned in two weeks. I'm gonna give you something else coming from Value Golf and the Pinhawk brand. But as for now, do me a favor. If you like the video, you like the review, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notifications bell right beside it so you know when we release our next review or our next video. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Single Length School over on Twitter at One Length School. And if you guys have any questions, shoot me an email, singlelengthschool at gmail.com. But for now, I'm Craig with Single Length School. I'll see you guys in the fairway.